Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Smitha and I post videos every Tuesdays and Thursdays on everything related to beauty and skincare. And today I'm going to be showing you this look right here, which is a nude toned makeup look. What's nice about nude makeup is with minimal effort, you can look absolutely stunning, sometimes more stunning than using more colors. In fact, on a daily basis, I prefer nude makeup well, what daily basis? Even to parties, I wear nude makeup. But again, if you don't choose the right colors, you can also look very flat and pale. Today, I'm going to help you choose the right colors for your skin tone, and I'll show you how to put this look together effortlessly. So this is going to be beginner friendly. So without further ado, let's get this started. I'm going to start by perfecting my base. I'm working on my face first because I'm using very light colors in my eyes. I've already moisturized my face half an hour ago and now everything is soaked in well and I'm going to be priming my face. For that, I'm using the NYX Studio Perfect Photo Loving Primer because this will help to blur out all the pores and to hide them and smooth out my skin before I apply anything over it. And to get that even toned base, I'm going to be color correcting and neutralizing any dark on my face for which I'm using the Coastal Scents Concealed Palette. I'm taking this orange color with a flat shader brush and I'm going to apply it in areas on my face where I have dark circles, dark spots, dark patches and then I'm going to blend it out before I set it with the Artistry Loose Powder. You can set it with any loose powder before I, you apply any foundation otherwise it's going to mix with the foundation and your face will appear orange. So always set your color correction before you apply anything else over it. For foundation, I'm using the Artistry Youth Extend in the color Brulee. The trick to using any medium to full coverage such as this is to add a couple drops of any oil. I use the vitamin E oil for my face because vitamin E, as you know, is really good for your skin. Um, you can use coconut oil, you can use any other lightweight oil, but mix a couple drops with your very thick foundation just to dilute it a little bit before you apply it. That way it uh, goes on smoothly on your face. To conceal and correct any darkness in my face as well as to highlight the high planes of my face, I'm using the LA Girl Pro Conceal in the color Pure Beige. And in my previous video, I did mention to you guys that I like the consistency of the Pure Beige one much better than the Nude one. Nude Nude seems to be quite thinner than the pure beige so after applying the nude color on my face after a while it starts appearing gray because you can see through it it becomes almost transparent so you can see the darkness underneath it but the pure beige is really thick and concealers have to have that thick consistency so whenever you're buying concealer make sure it's thick enough one because it has to cover all the pigmentation and two because if it's runny or too creamy it's going to crease more and you don't want that and again when you buy concealer try to make sure it's at least a shade or two lighter than your skin tone and your foundation that way you can use it as a highlighter as well for any nude tone makeup you don't want anything too harsh including the contour so for a subtle contour, I always recommend using a cream contour because you'll be later setting it with a press powder and everything looks soft and well blended out. And to cream contour, I'm using the Wet n Wild Contour Stick in Call Me Maple which suits most of the South Asian skin tones or the olive and brown skin tones. So it's fantastic and it's very less expensive. I paid like $4 for it. To set the concealer around my eyes before it starts settling in those fine lines and creasing, I'm going to be using more of the Artistry Loose Powder. And while I do that, I'm going to be using the powder to um, bake underneath my eyes as well. That way it doubles up as a protection while I'm doing my eye makeup in case there's any fallout from the eyeshadows that I'm using. It will catch it and it's easier for me to dust it off later without spoiling my base makeup. Next, from my Smashbox Full Exposure Palette, I'm taking this dark brown color with my Sigma E40 blending brush, which is my favorite blending brush. And with this, I'm going to first carve out my outer V. I'm just going to draw two lines to represent the outer V of my eyelid. And then I'm going to start blending it in small circles. Keep on blending till you're happy and till it feels like there's no sharp edges. And while you do that, start building on the color. 
Start applying more and more color one bit at a time till you're happy with the intensity. Next, taking this pencil brush, I'm going to smoke the same color out in the lower lash line as well to soften everything up. The formula to choosing the right brown that will complement your skin tone is to always go at least four times darker than your skin tone. That way you can use the color to intensify the outer corner as well as the crease and whatever residue in is left in the brush you can use that as a transition color as well. Taking this bone color eyeshadow I'm going to fill in the inner two thirds of my lid and I chose this color because it goes with any combination and it's universally flattering. And then using the shimmer eyeshadow that's right below it, I'm going to be highlighting my brow bones as well as inner corners to separate out my eyes and to make them look bigger. The key to making a nude look very attractive is to use dramatic lashes because in this whole look, your eyes are nude, your lips is going to be nude. So there's something that has to take it to the next level. And for me, it's going to be lashes. And I always use dramatic lashes and a mascara that will make my own lashes look thicker and bigger. Before I apply any falsies, I'm going to prep my natural lashes by curling it and applying a coat of mascara. The mascara that I'm going to be using today is Lashomatic from Wet n Wild. And for lashes, I'm going to be using Harjot Lashes in Bossy. These are foaming lashes and extremely dramatic, just perfect for this look. I'll be applying these off camera and I'll be linking my video on top to show you how I apply lashes. To bring this whole look together, I'm going to keep my lower lashes also well coated with mascara. So I'm going to apply a couple coats of mascara by wiggling it, by separating out my lashes and by elongating it further. Now that concludes my eye makeup. Now moving back to my face, just to add some warmth, I'm going to be using a bronzer. And the one that I'm using today is from Beauty Treats. And I'm going to be using this half of this color just to add a light hue of rosiness to my cheeks, nothing too much, just a very light brown toned blush. And then for a subtle glow, I'm going to be using this highlighter on the high planes of my face. When you have a brown skin tone, try to use a nude lipstick with a peach undertone. It looks fantastic. You can never go wrong with it. And today I'm using the Rimmel Kate Nude Collection Lipstick in the shade 46. But before that, I'm going to be using a similar lip pencil to line out just the borders of my lips. You can leave it matte if you like, but I love a good gloss. So I'll be using some gloss today from Rimmel. This is in Diamond Dust. And look how stunning the shine is. I'm in awe every time I apply this. This is one of my favorite drugstore glosses. To finish up this look, I just didn't do anything crazy or dramatic with my hair, just let it down free. Sometimes I also do dramatic crazy stuff with my hair to complement the look. But here's today's final look. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, don't forget to give me a like and comment below and let me know your thoughts. If you plan to recreate this look or any of my other looks, don't forget to tag me on social media. All the links are included in the description box below. Again, I love you guys so much and I will see you on Thursday with a brand new one. Bye guys.